enjoy it. There's your change, man. Thank you. No worries. Cheers, man. Yeah, it's him. So the bar on his own. The manager's not in either. See you later, lads. Ben Palmer, I'm Eddie Gibbs, Amy's fiance. Everything all right, lads? Yeah, just a little something we need to sort out. An exchange of words. All right, well, uh, an exchange of words is fine. Can I get you anything to drink, sir? What haven't you got? I'll have a bottle of it. From the cellar. Go and get it. Take your time. And don't call me sir. Hold. Release. Hold. Just like you do to Amy. Well, she's been faithful to you. Shut it. Drink that pint in one. Look like you're enjoying it. Drink it like a man, like a Londoner. Who do you support, Sam? Arsenal. You working? Yeah. You been making contact with Amy today? No. Amy and I are splitting up. The thrill you get, I don't feel it no more. Maybe that's why she welcomed some attention from you. Can't see any other reason. You've created the opportunity, kid, for me. You see, uh, I bat for both sides. One more than the other. Where I lose Amy, I gain elsewhere. So that's why you were holding my hand? And why all this? Don't get funny. I was prepared to stripe you today. You've been treading on my toes for over a week, whether you knew it or not. But you made the right responses. This was my parting gift to Amy. To make sure you're basically OK. And not some nutter. I owe her that. Thanks, Eddie. Oi, you! Where's my beer? Two lagers here. I'm gonna have a drink with my fellow gooner. Have one yourself, barman. <laughs> I know we confirmed yesterday, but I, I wasn't sure you were coming. I wouldn't do that to you. Besides, I had to come. I'm sorry I'm late. Signal failure at Euston. Have you been drinking? Uh, just, just a couple. Are you okay? 
I've been better, but I'll soldier on. Life's a series of tests, right? Yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, where'd you meet Ronnie Cray anyway? Huh? Eddie. You met Eddie? Me and the girls thought we'd thrown him off your scent. And he's never even met you before. God, I'm sorry, that wasn't meant to happen. That's okay, it wasn't your fault. I was still in one piece after getting through his personal serve tests. Masterminder wasn't. More of a test of nerves. You told me you're splitting up. Yeah, well, we had another blow-up argument last night. He even cried as he said he wanted kids. He never told me that. Yeah, well, his public persona's a hard man. But sometimes he's as sweet as Mentos. <laughs> Breaking off an engagement, the disappointment is magnified fourfold compared to ending any other romance. It affects everyone close to you. It eats at you, it eats at your relatives. Your parents might not admit it, but they've been thinking long term about grandchildren, about providing a house for you both. You've raised hopes in people and then dashed them. These then remain just thoughts that will age of memories that never happened. I understand. Even when an engagement is doomed, a part of you doesn't want to let it go. There may never be another. There's so much tied up in it, even to talk about it eats at you. So, uh, where did you meet Eddie anyway? A nightclub. <laughs> Women meet a lot of guys in nightclubs we wouldn't ordinarily meet. I was 16 and it was exciting. With hindsight, I shouldn't have got involved with him. But as I said, his heart's in the right place. So is mine. Next to yours is the only place for it. I need time. You have a history too, right? Nah, I just stay home in the evenings. Liar, I know you have a history. As I've heard from one of our mutuals, she was holding back on something too. Do tell. Well, we kind of kiss and tell without a kiss before telling. I'm safe. Persistent, aren't you? <laughs> well, lover boy. You wanna know that much? I've drunk. I've smoked but never snorted. I've danced, I've smooched but not cavorted. Very nice, but tell me about your former girlfriends. Why, they don't matter anymore. Well, I want to know. Girls want to know these things. Somehow it makes a guy more appealing to know he's desired by other women. I had a girlfriend at school for a year and another in sixth form for a few months. And in between? Well, there was I and Napa, but what happens on holiday stays on holiday, right? Both my former girlfriends were, they were fun, attractive, intelligent, but it wasn't enough. I was restless. And so here I am, Ben Palmer, talking to you, Amy Lee, in historic, magnificent Camden Town, where I spent a lot of my childhood. Bliss, after a bad start, I'm winning today. We're winning today, Amy. But what are you looking for in a woman, Ben? And he asked if I was working, and I realised I'd never told you. I work in the city. I'm a junior trader on a foreign exchange desk, just American bank. Still learning the ropes, really. Casino banking, right? Yeah, no, no, no. I'd, I'd call it calculated risk. As long as you know what you're investing in. I just shot the euro most of the time. And you? You're educated, well intelligent. <clears throat> what do you do? You never said. Mr. Gambler? That's because there's nothing to tell. You've miscalculated, drawn zero. Because I'm unemployed. A doll girl, so you lose. And I lose too. Goodbye. Amy. Amy. Camden Town was named after the first Earl Camden, a gentleman by the name of Sir Charles Pratt. Sir Charles built a small hamlet next to an important North London thoroughfare in 1791. The hamlet was originally part of the manor of Kentish Town and the parish of St Pancras, but expanded in its own right to become Camden Town. 
The word Camden originated from Camden Place, Earl Camden's estate in Kent, which itself had been named after William Camden, a historian. When the Regent Canal started taking traffic in 1820, Camden Town soon encroached on the land of the former farmhouse nearby, Chalk Farm, which had been turned into a tavern. When the North London railway stations of Euston, King's Cross and St Pancras opened in 1837, 1852 and 1869 respectively, Camden Town became a major industrial centre. Today it's one of London's most fashionable spots, full of character, whilst retaining its gritty edge in certain neighbourhoods. <laughs> Oh, my God. 